you remember in the previous class we stopped at this that uh, what is the quality term in food right because uh, again this this page we have to show because this is part of that dairy and food process and products technology right and uh, we were discussing that what is the quality because quality is such a big word anywhere it is not only in food anywhere quality is such a big word it encompasses many many things desirable undesirable many many things liking disliking requirement non requirement law safe unsafe nothing uh, is beyond the word quality everything comes under quality if you go to buy anything you will see same product people will say oh, this is because of the quality difference uh, the product is different whether that product might be under some uh, branded name or may not be under some branded name but uh, still there may be difference in pricing so everybody plays with the term quality but science cannot play like that un unidentified or without any definitions right so science how science defines food quality let us look into that today okay so if we look at food quality what is it we can say that food quality is the extent to which all the established requirements requiring relating to the the characteristics of a food is met right so we can give some example for example if we can identify or or identity of a food if we identify a food and identity of that food of in relation to standard so for a definite food that's why i said identify so if we identify a food how the identity of that food is identified with reference to a given standard because as i said earlier that for the safety of the food safety means safety of the people who are consuming because the controlling agents or controlling or monitoring uh, departments or monitoring uh, personnel who are associated with this first the everybody look into the safety of the consumer who is consuming right so if consumer is uh, for that when you are identifying a particular food product and when you are uh seeing that the identity of that food product is at par with the standard given then you can call it to be a okay quality product or if the declared gross or net quantity in many cases you will see because nowadays it has become a mandatory that if a product is under some packaging whatever we is packaging within some four walls if it is that then it is a mandatory that it should get it should be written what is the net weight of the product right it is not like going to everyday market and buying fruits and vegetables or fish meat or poultry like that if that is also under any 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 Uh, prescribed for that is in any packaging material then it should have uh, the 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 quantity mentioned right so if the quantity what is mentioned in the product product in terms of either weight or volume there is a quantity so with depending on the product type if it may be in terms of uh, in terms of uh, weight or it may be in terms of uh, volume right so because volume and weight normally both are not given normally volume and weight both are not given but in typical cases could be right but uh, those who are who which are more significant in terms of volume they will be given in volume and those which may be defined in terms of weight 
they are given in terms of weight. So, if that declared standard or declared or claimed quantity is there, then that could be another aspect of the quality which uh, people or consumer are normally worried about or can think of. Then declared or claimed amount of one or more stated components of a food right stated component means in many cases you will see that uh, the product e, uh, on the on the on the packaging it is written that this contains this 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 materials right so if it is mentioned there that is declared or claimed and if it is there then it is okay but if it is not there then definitely you can challenge or any any consumer can challenge and that will deviate from the term quality right now as of now we are telling one or two measurable quantity like weight or volume right or 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 the date of manufacture date of expiry so these things comes under also the safety regulations date of expire date of manufacture then 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 batch number so that the typical product can be identified of course that comes under law we'll discuss when we are going into law as i said when we are discussing law obviously these laws are food laws are such yes they are stringent but definitely as far as students are concerned at the time of classes like this, it will not be so palatable because mostly informative and all these informations are either supposed to be kept in mind or jotted down somewhere. So, that as an required you can you can you can uh, refer it or you can you can uh, negotiate with that, but here we need to know some parameters by which we can say quality in more precise form in a scientific way right so for that we need to know some parameters which we can tell that okay quality could be any or all of them so it, it is not necessarily all of them have to be there so that is why some or all or any of them may or may not be sufficient for the for the definition of the quality or defining a quality product quality food material where i am saying one as we said in many cases the the only weight is available right maybe there the weight is the fundamental thing rest of the things are all obvious so there the only that parameter could be good enough. So, in that comes under this that we say we say that appearance right for example, size shape or color right appearance in terms of size shape or color that is one parameter which can be measured because you can measure size you can also measure or tell what is the shape like whether it is regular pattern like rectangular or 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 square that is in cartesian coordinate or in cylindrical coordinate that is in cylinder form or cylindrical form or in spherical coordinate in spherical form if that shape is also defined or it may be also that there is no defined shape right it is not necessarily that a product has to be a defined shape or it should have defined shape right but if there then identifying is easier then you can tell that that product was of this shape and its size was this maybe say if it is a cylindrical diameter is so much and height is so much so we can you can say that the product is like that right color in terms of appearance color could be 
that that particular product could be yellow color, may be red color or a mixture of colors. So, depending on that, but it is measurable. right? So, parameters which you can measure based on that the quality terms can be said. Right? Then flavor, okay. flavor and aroma. Now, in many cases if you if you see the uh, English meaning of flavor and aroma that is one type, right. But in 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 typical in, in engineering or science base then we, we can differentiate. Now, aroma is uh, that uh, odor which normally you perceive through the nose you normally perceive through the nose we may be we may be coming after some time in in definite definition that what could be aroma and what could be the uh, flavor but uh, for a, for a, for a common man's difference you can say that odor is uh, by the by the volatile components and is is through the nasal part which by which uh, you can identify or you can detect right from the aroma of the mango which is kept maybe 10 feet away from there you can say that it is a, a mango right but when it comes to flavor it is all in combination it is not a single only smell only that will not be good enough to tell the flavor flavor it is a mixture of taste then uh, uh, it's uh, uh, how how because taste also will vary because something can be uh, salty something can be soury something can be sweety or like that so depending on what type of taste it is having what kind of flavor uh, what kind of aroma it is having what kind of uh, all put together it comes under the umbrella of flavor so we'll define it definitely in a, in a in a more precise way then comes texture right in the term texture obviously there are many many parameters which uh, and texture obviously food texture is quite different from many other textures right that is why you will see uh, texture is normally uh, measured by some universal testing machine or UTM, right? Universal testing machine or UTM by which normally texture is measured. So we we can write it here UTM, right? Universal testing machine. So normally by that texture is measured. But the concept of this texture this came up with because whatever as we said in the beginning in the pre very early classes that food we normally say that substance which we consume by mouth. right? So, when we are consuming by mouth what do you have it is put into your mouth cavity and you have the teeth. right? So, this teeth what it is doing it is it is it, it, it is crushing or it is grinding and as well it is coming some uh, uh, some 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 uh, when, when you are you are chewing it some chewing some gummy some uh, cohesive all these things will come into your mouth feel right and this mouth feel has been translated to this utm normally utm in those universal testing machines there are many varieties many varieties means if you will go to the utm section then you will see lot of companies have made this utm but for our food there are small units by which that we call texture analyzer right basically it is a force deformation curve which also will come subsequently so this force deformation curve when you are obtaining from a machine you can definitely tell on the scientific parameters basis that its texture is like this so you can tell the quality of the material in terms of texture 
was this and that right so judging you can do so quality then has to be defined in terms of judging parameters some parameters by which you can judge that particular product right so we have already said that the appearance in that shape size uh, color they are coming in and flavor aroma they are also coming in another category then texture it is coming in another category some other more scientific uh, terms of course generally it commonly it is very difficult because uh, i i don't say that uh, texture or flavor also it is very easy for people to do but yes there are some test called organoleptic test right by which when you are consuming uh, what is the what is the uh, perception of the consumer who is consuming the typical product in terms of its appearance in terms of its flavor color or texture then that can be but when you are measuring with respect to something in terms of machine scientific machineries then you are more uh, and that was in terms of person i am consuming one i may have a uh, liking or feeling for something if somebody else is uh, consuming another or the same but he may have uh, may not have the similar liking or feeling like that so the 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 um, distinction could be based on some either biasness or whatever it be may not might not be identical but when you were saying in terms of machine right that appearance size uh, in terms of colors size all these you were measuring in terms of flavor aroma you were measuring in terms of texture you were measuring so the parameters which you were saying is of course based on the typical measuring parameter and they are it is having the repeatability right in organoleptic test when uh, we, we do there it may or may not have the same repeatability but in terms of machine yes your repeatability should be identical right so that is more 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 dependable parameter than even the organoleptic test but obviously organoleptic cannot be kept aside because ultimately it is the people who are consuming so their version whether it may be identical or may not be right that is why more when a new material is being brought to the market then this organoleptic test is done for wide variation right wide variety of people are being called and then they are other than machine parameters they are asked to give based on different hedonic scale 9 point hedonic scale 5 point hedonic scale out of which center will be the minimum medium and the maximum will be on the top or minimum will be on the bottom right so you can you can you can do scaling based on that and based on the number of observers how many people are taking so you can have a more statistical statistically uh, more more valid uh, parameter for that right so that cannot be also kept aside so when we are talking quality this also you have to keep in mind that organoleptic test how it is okay so other than that as we said some other scientific parameters like viscosity right sorry like viscosity so when we come to that viscosity definitely you have many many instruments by which viscosity generally it is associated with liquid food or semi liquid foods right obviously the solids do not have viscosity so visco viscous fluid means either it is a liquid or a semi liquid food 
whose viscosity may be known. Now, how it may help you? That for a given consistency, that product will have a viscosity which you can measure through the instrument, right? Which through organolytic test means by taking it with your mouth filling, you may not be able to judge. So, that is more inner uh, quality parameter uh, than external or outer periphery parameters, peripheral parameters, right. So, viscosity if that can be measured, then with whatever today also the same product will have one viscosity after one year the sad that same product should have the same viscosity if the quality of the product is not getting changed right so that can be another measurable parameter then shelf life or stability of the product as we said in the beginning of this class that in most of the products nowadays it is written clearly on the periphery of the on, on the on the packaging of the product that what is the date of manufacture and what is the ex expected date of expiry right expected date of expiry that is also written now obviously for as a consumer you would like to have the more this shelf life the more good or better for you because you have, you have bought today it may, if that expiry is for 7 days then after 10 days you cannot consume you have to throw it out right and then as a consumer you would like to have more and more shelf life and more and more stable product right so that could be another parameter by which you can differentiate or detect the quality. Then witness for use as human food, right? whether that particular food is fit for the human being to consume or not. Nowadays, if you go to different markets, then you will see there are many such. Uh, this is for human consumption, that is one side that is for some animals that is another side that is for some your pets that is another side. So, that also should be definitely seen that the fitness of uh, the product for consumption of the human being right whether the product developed or product being brought into the market is fit for consumption of the human being or not right something which may be very good otherwise but its appearance does not allow you to take it maybe there are many such things which we come across right maybe its appearance is very bad or it is not so good in looking or it may not have, have any appealing appearance then you will definitely would like to avoid no okay i i can i can i can avoid this right so there comes that fitness that how fit it is for the consumption of the human being right then wholesomeness 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 means <coughs> you are taking a product right and that product say milk that is one of the best example milk you are taking right milk as uh, though i uh, will come more in detail in subsequent classes uh, is said to be a almost complete food but it is not a complete food there is a reason for that so as a whole when you are consuming a milk you can you can say the wholesomeness of the food that this is a food which if you consume will try to uh, try to supplement as much you require or as much as far as uh, 
nutrition or other things are required may be like that like like ice cream right that is also a, 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 a concentrated uh, nutrient where you have where you have both fat protein carbohydrate these things together right and and uh, uh, not only fat protein carbohydrates but also you can add uh, supplement fortify vitamins and others right then it comes adulteration right you definitely don't like to have products which are adulterated right everybody would like to have natural products or no artificial even if it be artificial but there should not be any adulteration means saying one thing and uh, giving another thing that is adulteration whatever i declare whatever i say if the product does not uh, corroborate with that constituent parts then we can say it is not at par with the defined or claimed uh, substances it is adulterated milk is another very good example right so in most of the cases you have seen or you know you, have, you might have come across that milk the most uh, adulteration or easiest adulteration is the by adding water right in majority of the cases this is a major problem of adulteration that the addition of water from a, and this water might not be potable water means drinking water so because the people who are doing they may not may or may not come to know or may not, may not be knowledgeable knowledgeable enough to decide whether uh, water should be added Wa water should be added means that particular water should be added or not in, in obviously this is with the intention of bad uh, kind of i mean business or bad kind of bad uh, is is social impact is very very otherwise right so it is not good but that is that can be said adulterated of course nowadays uh, milk is available where none of the milk material milk constituents are there but still they are called to be milk or is being sold in terms of milk right so that is where adulteration is coming in picture right and in many cases you will see that people are adding uh, either stone or this or that maybe with rice or dal or any other right so they are then can can be said to be adulterated not not definitely required as, as far as consumption or consumer is concerned right then packaging nowadays packaging industry has become so vast right packaging industry has become so vast that it is also coming under it, that not directly under the food quality because that is different food is inside packaging is outside of that food but package nowadays packaging industry has become so developed that in many cases people are being i don't say being fooled or at least at least can be said that people are being mesmerized through the advertisement of the packaging right so that packaging is also a uh, an important parameter but not directly related to the quality because it is not associated with the food quality but that packaging material can in turn be a uh, part of the quality determination of the food because if the packaging is not good that may inculcate some external uh, contamination or some kind of uh, meliation with the with the unwanted things so these things are definitely part of the uh, quality but as such package itself is not so how far it is affecting on the quality 
that part is coming into the quality term of the food. Then in this the last parameter we can say labeling right. So, this labeling is of course, important might or might not be direct or indirectly associated with the quality term of the food. Directly how? If labeling is saying that date of manufacture is so much and, uh, and the expiry is so much, then that should come under the labeling of the product. It should also contain that this product contains this, this in terms of in many products may be saying in terms of carbohydrate, in terms of fat, in terms of protein. In many products may be they highlight may be this part of the protein or this part of the fat or this part of the carbohydrate is within the product. So, labeling is also a must and that comes under the umbrella of quality because you are declaring the moment that labeling is there that means, the, the producer is declaring and the consumer can consumer can obviously, take that either as a, a confirmed thing or can also uh, compare or can also verify whether the claim things are there or not. Right? So, as such all these parameters will tell about the quality of the food material. In the next class, we will discuss some more of it. So, that in particular as we said that flavor, texture, odor, all these terms we can discuss a little bit more. Okay? Thank you.